You've mentioned the food supply being uh, cut back or restricted a few times. What, what uh, would give rise to that? That's the first place that you'll see a crisis happen. Like already, well, I'm older, right? To me, the summer, paying a buck for a tomato, that's way over line, overboard. Or, you know, a few bucks for a couple of beans. It's changed, like really radically in two years, the cost mm -hmm. of food. And what's being bought at house being market, just the cost of traveling, everything, with the fuel, everything. But how much gets there, I, I, it's just a concern. It's nice to have a little backup in case it gets tight mm -hmm. or blocked off for a while. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean you have to be paranoid about it. Most people aren't going to have a backup. They're just getting by each day as best they can. Well, how about the, you're making me think about the bees. You know, because we don't have any thing. bees, That's we're not going to have thing. any fruit. Or, or squash, or half the vegetables. Yeah. You know, like, but crises causes solutions. You know, like crises come up to pollution. Science has got out of control. It's just run everything in to take, 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 not replenish. It's going to have to be used to replenish things. You know, and so it'll come up. As things get difficult, solutions will have to be made. And it's always been that way. Mm -hmm. So I, all I'm doing, I'm trying to counter, there's a lot of big fear about things. I'm just trying to counter. The astrology is how do you plan your life? You're here for your 80, 90 years. You're going to navigate to it. You want to make something meaningful out of your life. Now that 80, 90 years for one person may be like one rivet on one symbol in the drum section of an orchestra of the solar system. And we get this little, bzzz, that's our life. And we want it to be something. Mm -hmm. From that viewpoint, what's human life? A little nothing. But from mm -hmm. our viewpoint, it's everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we want to do something with it. Yeah. Those that want to do something are going to do something. Those that are getting negative or get negative thoughts are going to block their potential mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and diminish how much they can make at the times ahead. There's some brilliant kids, really talented people, really inspired people coming into the, onto the planet. Because of, and you can tell this based on the astrology yeah. behind their yeah, birth Yeah, the charts? weak spot in the kids today, which is different from the, turn of the first half of the century, is all the planets have been in the, what I call the social science, the we us science. So you have the groupies. Everybody's in consensus. We're all wearing this label clothes. We're all getting these things. We have these fashion designs. And everybody, there's swarmings. Gangs back in the 40s or 50s were just random people hanging around. If two people were picking on one person fighting, everybody would stop it. Even if, it wouldn't matter who was right or wrong. It's not fair for two to go against one. Now you get 50 people taking on a kid in school. It's like, it's, it's like everybody's living in their TV images and not, they lose their sense of what's real and how to care for each other. Well, that doesn't sound like it's got related to astrology. It sounds like it's related to the media. Well, we, we started we this by going into the history and the cycles of history. Yeah. I could go technically into why each planet is going through each sign for each year and why these things come. It is culminating up over these few years. There was a, um, a crisis. I saw a mini crisis building up over the next couple of years that's changing the power structures in the world and the changes, and changes of things. But so what we're still living through it we still got to figure out how to live what we're going to do what our kids are going to do we still have other challenges that make astrology really useful to plan through yeah. and with astrology you can see your vulnerabilities so when you see your vulnerabilities you learn that you can't change them but you can use them you can navigate through them to make them less vulnerable right and that's success now what about remember uh in the old days they had court astrologers for the kings and yep. that kind of thing you don't think Obama or Harper is using an astrologer? Well, that's what my question is. I don't know, but I would be very amazed if they didn't access that information. Yeah. I think the Queen always did. Yeah, the, the Queen. And, 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 and Ronald and Reagan always did. Trudeau did. Reagan, really? yeah, yeah, Reagan, Reagan's wife, when Reagan got elected, he got elected governor of California and he chose to be inaugurated at 1.15 after midnight on a Sunday night. Or in the morning. Why? Because that chart gave him the chance of becoming president. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it was nothing new by the time they said Ray Miller, uh, mm -hmm. Nancy Reagan knew astrology. That was old stuff. 20 years ago, people already knew that. Mm -hmm. It just got promoted out as a big thing. Trudeau, he had his marriage to Mar Margaret Trudeau predicted in advance. Well, they must have done something wrong there. <laughs> <laughs> well, he still got there. Yeah. <laughs> he still got some good years out of it. Yeah. And... Um, uh, Trudeau used to use astrology. He used to, when, there's a time when Mercury goes retrograde for 22 days and communications get a little screwy and it's hard to make decisions. And he would set up a big project that he's going to go forward and he'd hand it to the opposition the minute it went retrograde. And for 21 days, get back to me in three weeks, we'll talk about it. So they're trying to negotiate on what to do when it's the worst time to possibly make any decisions around it. And then they have to come back and they wouldn't be that together and he'd push his things through. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's a smart idea. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> What's okay. the difference between Vedic astrology and Western astrology? Okay. The Western astrology, we're based, usually it's called tropical astrology. It's based on the seasons. We have the four seasons. If you're born in the spring or summer, you're a spring or summery person. If you're born in the fall or winter, you're a fall or wintry person. And there's different attitudes to life. In the, in the equator, in India, you're near the equator. There's not four seasons. The, and the stars, go, the constellations go right overhead. So they watch the planets going through the constellations and they're dividing the pie based on that and measuring it not based on the seasons, but on the symbols of the constellations and how it plays in. We, here we tend to relate it to the seasons and the attitudes and then we pick up the season we're born in and we're going with that in our life. Mm. And it starts from this. That's a simple way of saying That's it. That's interesting. How, what about Chinese astrology then? Chinese astrology was originally a tropical system and a very advanced system. It got changed in about, five, about 1200 B BC, maybe a bit earlier when the books were burned, and they changed it, changed it into a numerological system of the 12 animals and repeating every, for each element. For, so there's a 60 year cycle. Yeah. Originally, it was tied into the I Ching and other things, but then the calendars were set up like that and everyone's used those calendars. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't, it's, they have some astrology within it because they set, look for the new moon in Aquarius to start the year. So they have certain astrology within it. But it really is a numerological system mm -hmm. of number associations. It's a different thing than looking at planets. So in numbers, everything works. The dogma of numbers, everything is perfect circles and spheres and, and, and spirals, and they have mm -hmm. perfect measurements. Mm -hmm. But in life and in astrology, everything works by ellipses. Everything's mm -hmm. off the perfect circle. We're not exactly perfect. There's things yeah. that work this way or that way, and that's just the way life is. Wow. Well, I think we could uh, sit here and uh, ask it's you questions yeah, all day. It keeps day, going. Uh, it keeps going, Robin. So, yeah. um, but uh, but we can't, unfortunately. Yeah. But we're, let's. Uh, People can come see me, and 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 uh, I'll be at the at the Soda Conference. It's at um, it's at the um, Crown Plaza Hotel, 33 Carlson Court, up near up near the airport. Yeah. And um, registrations on Thursday, but you can come for any day. You can come for any specific lecture. My lectures at at, twel at twelve on Friday. On Friday, if you want to go to a web and try and get it, you'd have to you either Google SOTA Astrology Conference or you could go to um, uh oh, it's www.donavantoen.com, and that would get you there. But it's easier to just Google SOTA. So it's an astrology conference in Canada, and you'll get it. Okay. Great. Um, beautiful. And your own website, where people, if they want to get in touch with you. Uh, yeah, I have a large website. It's uh, www.info at the waking dream. Info at info. Sorry. That's your www the waking dream dot net. The waking dream dot net. Yeah. That's Perfect. life. The waking dream. That's a good uh, name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, Robert, this has been great. We should do this more often because Thank you. Uh, we could uh, yeah, it's always just spend a whole day just doing this with you. It's been a lot of fun. Thanks. Um, okay, great. TheWakingDream.net for Robin Armstrong. Lecture this Friday at noon at the on Carlson Court up near the uh, airport. Robin, and and the conference continues the whole weekend? Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. You. Okay, great. Okay, well, Thank let's, you. Hey, can we play some more uh, Lay Low? here and we're going to come back in a couple of minutes with Helena Stahl talking about uh, Crohn's disease and uh, fundraising and stuff like that so we'll be right back here on liquid lunch that channel dot com cool, that was good thank you it's my world you just don't know it yet I think it's time I think it's time See them flash across my TV set They'll blow your mind They'll blow your mind 